A look at Scripps, transforming medicine and saving lives. Al Fields is back in stride. I've been running probably for about 40 years, 35 to 40 years, so it's just part of you after a while. More than a year ago, Al had a heart attack while running. He says he doesn't remember much about that day, but when he woke up four days later at Scripps, he discovered his body had been cooled, placed in a therapeutic hypothermic state to help him heal. In your case, we would go ahead and wrap the torso first, and then subsequently the legs, and begin the therapy of cooling externally. For Al and other patients experiencing cardiac arrest, their blood can be cooled to between 34 and 32 degrees Celsius for 24 hours. The goal is to increase their chance of survival. Well, what we know we're doing is, is we're salvaging their brain and their critical organs at that time. And what's so valuable and so profound is that these folks are walking out of the hospital at a rate where they've never been able to. In just a year, therapeutic hypothermia treatment has advanced at Scripps. Now a catheter is used to cool a patient from the inside out. These little bubbles here of fluid are cooling the blood in the body. And then the warmed blood comes right back out, back to a pump, which then recools it and sends it in in a precise fashion. That's what's so key about hypothermia. It prevents further cell death by preventing chemical messengers from the already dead cells from invading the entire system. That allowed Scripps cardiac specialists to perform a stent procedure to open a blocked valve in Al's heart and help him return to his active lifestyle. I owe them my life. Between the stent and the uh, hypothermia process, it, it uh, turned my life around, it made me live a couple more years here, so I'm very thankful. Another way Scripps is transforming medicine and saving lives.